And notice also yeah. that all the Muslims in this park pushing Sharia law, yeah. they're not running to Sharia law countries. They're not. They're staying here. Yeah. Yeah. Because Sharia is so great, they yeah. want to stay as far away from it as they possibly can. And the reason why is because our codification of law is better than Islamic law. Go on, madam. There is a Sharia law. This they used it actually. It started by the Sharia law. Where? where? The Netherlands, UK actually also. The, sh the, the Sharia law. You're it's saying that the, the governing law is based principle. On Sharia law, so I don't know why you're claiming. I'm afraid, madam, that you just don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm afraid you don't know. So, so please tell me, Sharia law in this country, you're saying that our law is based on yeah, Sharia law. Actually, can, yeah. you, can, you, can you demonstrate the principles that show that in Saxon law, Saxon, in fact, let me just ask you a basic question. Do you even know when Saxon law began? This, this is the history. No, no, it's okay, uncle. This is the history of my people. When, when did our legal system begin? Actually, in the middle, in the, in the, in the beginning of the Netherlands. Now we're they, talking about England. No, I'm, I'm talking about the Netherlands. You, you, you said you England tell, no. and Netherlands. I mean Western countries. That includes England. Yeah, but um, my, the base of is most of them are based on the Sharia law. Actually. Right. Prove it. Uh, m n okay, not uh, jury, jury. <laughs> uh, uh, Female genital mutilation is no, no, uncle. It's all right, Islam. uncle, uncle. It's okay. Let the lady speak, Sharia uncle, law. uncle. Let the lady speak. Go on. Napoleon, uh, what's got his name? I'm sorry, I'm very bad at names. It's okay. The, guy from the, the Napoli or something? Napoleon. Napoleon, thank you. Right. Bad at okay. Names. He, when he saw it actually in the West, in the Middle East and stuff, he saw it as Sharia law and it interested him. Okay. So he took it with him yeah. to the Western countries and actually yeah. based it on the rules on the Sharia law. Okay, can I reply to that? Of course. Because what you're saying is a historical nonsense. Uh, yeah, it, no, 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 hold on one second. The French Revolution. The French Revolution happened before Napoleon came to power and Napoleon established the Republic and the laws of the Republic before he invaded Egypt. He didn't go on some like holiday to Egypt or holiday to the, the, the Middle East and then bring back Sharia law. Well, the, the Enlightenment, no, him. the Enlightenment, the Enlightenment idea is an eternal European idea. It is not something that is built on Sharia. I don't know where you've got this myth from, but it is complete myth. It's a history. Then, then they have, then they have lied to you, madam. It's simply a lie. These facts are straight because Napoli, when he came to Egypt, and you say Napoleon, Napoleon, when he came to Egypt, he took a lot of things with him. He conquered Egypt. Yeah, but he at least as well as took a lot of ideas. Yeah, he took Every a lot of loot. The revolution actually took always things with it. So how are you surprised that about Napoleon that? was arguing. Shall I tell you what? Let me demonstrate that you don't know what you're talking about. Napoleon argued for the idea of a nation state. This contradicts entirely. This contradicts entirely. You see, she's not even listening. She's not even listening. She, she wanted to have a conversation, she's not even listening. I'm listening. Well, right, so Napoleon wanted to establish the idea of a constitutional nation state in which citizens reduced their religion to the private sphere and then behaved according to secular law in the public sphere. That was the principles of the Republic. Islam, by contrast, just to demonstrate how wrong you are, Islam, by contrast, has no concept of a nation state. It has no concept, it believes in an ummah, and it believes in a caliphate. So where, how do you say that the idea of a secular republic is something that was borrowed from the Islamic world? Do you know what the word ummah means, sir? Yeah, it means people. So how people? Uh, people defined by their religious identity. Not only that. Yeah. Ummah also means a group that is well put together and is here for each other. Brilliant, okay. <laughs> and how does that demonstrate that the idea of a secular republic a secular republic is antithetical to the idea of a caliphate. You're actually... Is a Shia Ummah or a Muslim... Well, it's a good it's, it's a question. Which kind of Ummah are we talking about first? Which kind of are we talking about Shia Ummah or Sunni Ummah? Or Wahhabi Ummah or Marzai Ummah? A Sunni Ummah. What kind of Ummah are you talking about? Let, let the ladies... Yeah. Let, 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 let the ladies speak. Let, let, let the ladies speak. Napoleon. 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 Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. To the nation as well with the principles of an ummah. Right. No. 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 He. He wants. So. But what you've got. What you failed to do, 
is to demonstrate how those ideas came from the Islamic world. Because that's your thesis, that's your argument. No, but he didn't get that from Egypt because what Islam teaches and what the, Napoleon, the, the, the Republicans of the French Revolution yeah, um, taught was the idea that religion should be private and should not dominate the state. Now, Islam, by contrast, says that Sharia law should dominate the state. Now, you have heard a rhetoric from a lecturer and they have lied to you and misled you in an ahistorical fashion. Because, I don't know, they, I, don't, I don't know why they've sought to do that. I don't, they're either ignorant themselves or they're misinformed themselves. But I'm telling you, you're factually wrong. Actually, no. I think you should do your research, research upon this I, I, teacher. Okay, so, so your, your, your teacher is wrong and I'll He's debate him. Teacher, I'll actually. debate him. I'll debate him. Even, Great. Even so, to, but one, one, uncle, is wrong. uncle, please, uncle, is wrong. please, uncle. Yeah. Um, what do you want to say, sir? Your understanding about Ummah is wrong. Excellent. Wrong because uh, you Muslims are divided in 73 sects. More. More. And Christianity. And more. And, and, and uh, you are coming here and telling us uh, that you Muslims are Ummah. Whereas uh, Shias are different, Sunnis are different, Wahhabis, Wahhabis are different, Mirzais are different. Spubs. Uh, Look, many, 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 yeah. many, 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 the fact that we so want which to, one will be that we let her speak, speak. Uncle, let, let her speak. We want to be focused on a good thing. Let her have, have an ummah. Doesn't mean that you can have everyone do or say or listen or you know be with what you would like to achieve. That's the imperfection of being. Sister, may, may I reply? What what's your name? Just Sarah. 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 Um, I, I just want to return to the point. So, firstly, I just want to say as a side note. Islam has more than 73 sects. The prophecy of Muhammad was wrong. He said that the Ummah would divide into 73 sects. But the reality is there's more than 73 sects and it doesn't matter how you cut it, there's more than 73. So Muhammad just prophesied wrong, full stop. But I want to come back to this idea of our law is based on Sharia law because this is utter nonsense. Let me, let me, just, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, uh, like, you, you, yeah, I mean, you, you should, because the fact is the, the Enlightenment philosophers that established the Republican ideology of the First Republic were more inspired by Greco-Roman paganism than they were by anything else. They were even more inspired by Greco-Roman paganism than they were by Christianity. They were actually an anti-Christian movement. That's what the Enlightenment was, a reaction to Christianity. In this country, because you also said this country as well, Everything, which is why I knew it was wrong. Where Napoleon yeah, has the, this, this, over. Uh, this is utter nonsense. nonsense. Utter nonsense. Utter nonsense. Okay. So, so for example, let's take the Holy Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. The Ro Holy Roman Empire, which was something that was conquered by uh, Napoleon on his on, uh, in his fight against Prussia. Mm -hmm. um, the Holy Roman Empire was was based upon. A, a vision, a, 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 a communion of two things. Well, three things. Greek philosophy, Roman law, Christian theology. And the, the principles of a Christian state are very different from an Islamic state. So, and I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. So, within a Christian state, the institution of the church and the institution of the state sit separately. They work together, they're meant to work together, and they're both meant to be filled with Christians. But in Islam, the, the, there is firstly no idea of a church-state separation. You believe that they're one and the same thing. In the Christian faith, we believe that our, our faith should be lived out publicly. But the, the Republicans of the Enlightenment believe that faith should be relegated to something private and individual. The church believes in collectivism, the Republican ideology believed in individual rationalism. Now, demonstrate to me that they got that idea of the individual rational being who precludes faith to the private sphere from Islam. Show me in Islam 
where that idea comes from, because I'm telling you it doesn't come from Islam. It comes from, in the Enlightenment, philosophers. You could just accept you're wrong, that your lecturer no, misled you. I'm, I'm very sure actually he's not wrong, because I know his facts. So, so what evidence did he give you? What evidence did he give you? Well, in, especially in the Netherlands, are based upon rules. So, I mean, there's obviously some message probably knocking me at this point that's just been passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's probably some insulting message that's just been passed between them. Yeah, I, I, I am assuming. What, what did it say? What did it say? What does it say? The jury is taken from the law of Islam. Jury. Yeah. Right, you see, that's. Can I just. Can I, Plato and the Republic yeah. talks about the ten men of the jury. Pagans had, pagans had before no, Islam. No, no, no bro, I'm sorry. Have I'm you sorry. read Plato? Yeah. Sorry. Have you read Plato? Yes. yes or no? No. No. Okay, I could tell because if you if you Plato and the Republic talks about the judge and he talks about, he talks about the judge being hopefully being a philosopher and having ten men. He describes ten men of philosophical training as a jury that would then come come with a decision. decision. This is in the Republic. This is before even our Lord was born. This is before Jesus Christ. This so, is so, so can, I, can we just say to you, the, the reason why Muslims, like yourself, are trying to claim the heritage that doesn't belong to you and are trying to claim every good idea as being an Islamic one is based on three things. Irri sorry, two, two principal things. Ignorance combined with arrogance. You think, you just stated because he showed you a little text message. I have not even yeah. said no, you, no, no, let me no, finish. No, 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 you you finish. just said no, no, that the jury up. came Don't, from Islam. No, no, a that is a lie. That is a lie. Do you, but do you agree no, no, with it? Listen, do you agree with it? I have not said anything about it. No, you should not assume. Do you agree with it? I'm asking maybe, you. Maybe, not. maybe not. I'm asking you, do you agree with it? Can I just quickly point out? Can I just quickly point out that Plato calls this the Council of Ten. Yeah, thank you. Let, let, let us speak. Go on. Is it nonsense? Well, Islam is definitely not based on arrogance. It's definitely yes, not it based on... Yeah, it is. No, it definitely yeah, it is. It definitely it's is. actually the most opposite of it at all. So why, 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 why... Ignorance is how you actually... Sir, and we should have respect for all people from religion. That's not what your Quran says. It does. It's not Show what your Quran says. What type of Quran do you have? The Quran, uh, an Islamic Quran. it was the same one. Yeah. <laughs> So, so the reality is, you, you're, the you're, the, 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 what, no, it's on, Then you've right, translated let, it let, wrong. I can, how is it in the same Quran? It's always better if we have a, Muslim a it, 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 yeah, it is, it's, 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 it's produced, no, no, no. it's, produ it's by Muslims, look, it's so translated so by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Yeah, but yeah. that's that, not the translator I use. Well, who, which he's translation do you use? He's not, Abdullah Yusuf Ali is Yeah, he, he's not. Okay, in this, in this, in this, this translation, in, the, in this translation, it calls Christians the worst of creatures. Scholar. No, and that's not, that's not how we interpret it. So, so that's when you, that's what it says. Muslim. That's what Can it I says. Can I finish my Yeah. See, sir, I'm a Christian, yeah? I can't tell about Jesus, you understand? I can simply open it. No, now he mentioned that. You say that Quran, show him in your Quran. I'm not you can't, you can't English English choice like based but on let me, Sharia let me law. That is no, let, let the lady speak. The Quran, please let the lady speak. Go on. Quran and the religion in itself is based upon respect. We have to, you can not know, but I definitely am sure that it is. Yeah, it's not you our experience. It's not our experience. Can, I've read the Quran. Well, experience is different. People are imperfect. I'm talking about 14, I'm 1400 years of experience. That you don't live 1400 years to tell me something like the that. The church has its history. It, listen, you are so wrong in so many factors. It's literally amazing. Prove, amazing. Prove, we feel so prove him to be wrong. Prove him to be wrong. Okay. Right, go on, I'm finish your point. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, go on, let, let, let her finish your point. Why are you here? I apologize for interrupting you, please, go on, you finish your here. point. Please, madam. No. Why are you You've interpreted ten times. Madam, let, let, let her finish your point. Yeah. Yeah. Madam, yeah. madam, yeah. madam. Yeah. miss, okay. Okay. miss. Okay, y'all shut up, I swear I will go. Miss, miss, finish your point, go on. Let her finish your point. I don't know what type of interpretation you use, but in the baseline of every Islamic person, you have to be respecting towards everyone's deen. You do you, I do me. In, um, no, let her finish her point. Go on, sorry. Let her finish her point. Let her finish her point. Go on. But verily, verily, I said to you that only Islam will be accepted to you. 
Yes, so but it doesn't mean that we should not respect each other. Yes, it does. No, it does not. By default, Even, it does. Let me tell... That, well, <laughs> the thing yeah, is, we're, we're getting off the point. I'm trying to come back to the point that we, we were talking yeah, about wait, in wait, terms wait, of Islamic law and so Western me, law. Your point, no, no, your point now, so yes. with me, was one thing. Yeah. People who are Muslim are ignorant... No, I didn't say that. No, I said that your statements and the statements that Muslims make when they try to claim even things like juries that even Plato was talking about before Islam are Islamic and we got them from Islam is a statement based on ignorance and arrogance combined. Ignorance we call and them arrogance. Kitab. Tell him we call them Ahli Kitab. We never call them any, anything else. Let's no. say about jewelry. It's an immaterial thing we don't care about at the end of the day. First of all, ignorance, and I will tell you, and I'll tell you ten times, ignorance and arrogance are two things that separate you from being. The more you are looking through it's that and being selfish, yeah. you are not working as a Muslim person. Yeah. You are not working correctly. And it's normal to be imperfect, and it doesn't mean that it's good, but it happens a lot. We are all imperfect. This world would have not existed if there was always all imperfect uh, perfect okay. people. Okay, madam, let me, let me reply to what you're saying. Not yet. yet. Go on, I'm not finish your point, yet. yeah. So, that's the beginning of it all. This world, this dunya, would have not been here if it was imp if it was perfect. Would have never been here. Yeah. This all has been a test. The more you've been ignorant, we call it having a stone heart. That yeah. means that you're separated from your deen. Yeah. The more that you are opening to working to help everyone. Even with something called zakat. Do you know what zakat is? Yeah, it's charity. Especially it's a to tax. people who doesn't even have to be... It's a redistributed okay, tax. Okay, yeah, but why do we have to do so? It's a rule, because you're commanded to. Yeah, but why are we commanded to? Because Allah commands it in His Quran. But are you, are you yeah, aware? But one second, one second, one second, one second. Like, like if you're gonna, if you're gonna bring up zakat, let's just point out that firstly, the first generation of Muslims didn't even know it was a, a pillar of Islam because you fought an entire civil war, an entire civil war on the fact that, on the fact that there were a whole group of Muslim tribes that thought that zakat was just a personal pledge to Muhammad, and that after he died, it was not due to be given no. to his successor. That that's that's a that's a fact. Allah, That's a fact. No, no, no. Muslims didn't Allah, even Allah, agree. Muslims poor. did not poor. even Lee agree. The first generation of Muslims. Madam, 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 I've I, I tried to defend your right to speak and I apologize for interrupting you because I did do it myself. But let's try and have a calm conversation. The reality is that the first generation of Muslims weren't even sure that zakat was a part of their deen. But I want to go off all these red herrings and get back to the main point, which is that you have made a factually false claim and you have not demonstrated with any evidence what you have said, which is that our Western law is based upon Sharia law. Nonsense. That is nonsense. It is historical nonsense and it comes from two places, ignorance combined with arrogance. Yeah. 